Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will talk about the combined variation. Recently, we have uploaded a video or videos with regards to direct, inverse, and joint variation. So I hope na mapanood yung video natin about this variation topics kasi napaka-importante siya for grade 9 students. So without further ado, let's do this topic. Let us define first what is a combined variation. Combined variation describes the relationship between three or more variables that vary directly and inversely with one another. So, kung ma-remember nyo, direct variation, uh, it talks about two different variables as well as inverse variation. Where in combined variation, it will allow us to encounter more variables, three or more variables. But, this one is combination of direct and inverse. So we have the here the statement, z varies directly as x and inversely as y. Now, basically, ito yung pinaka common na statement when it comes to direct variation or combined variation. So we have v varies directly, directly as x and inversely as y. So how are we going to translate that into statement? The equivalent mathematical sentence of this is simply z, same pattern lang z is equal to z varies directly as x since this one is varies directly that is kx and inversely as y meaning your y variable must be in the denominator so ako, ang turo sa mga students ko if this one is directly the variable goes up with the variable k or the constant. And this word inversely will tell us kung mapupunta pa sa denominator yung mismo variable. That's why z varies directly as x and inversely as y. And also, if you want to know the formula for the variable k, yung formula natin is this. If you want to solve for the constant, ha, k is equal to zy over x. Still, this formula came from this formula. So, I hope na makuha niyo yan. And let's go to the next part. Ang next part naman natin, syempre, it's common na dapat marunong kayo mag-translate before going to the main problem of variations. Okay? It says here, using the constant of variation, write the equation of the variation for each of the following. So let me read the first one. W varies jointly as C and the square of A and inversely as B. Now, sir, why do we have the word jointly? You told us earlier that combined variation is a combination of direct and inverse. Why jointly? Don't worry, guys, because jointly is an extension of direct variation. So we could... Uh, think of this as a direct variation. Mas marami nga lang variable. So try natin na eh. W varies direct jointly as C and square of A. So dito, And inversely. So dito siya mapaputol. W varies jointly as C and the square of A. C and square of A. Kasi jointly. And then lagay mo dito yung K natin. Okay? W varies jointly as C and the square of A and inversely as B. So, lagyan natin siya sa denominator. So, we have over B. This is now the proper translation. Okay? So, let's move on with number 2. P varies directly as the square of X and inversely as S. So, I will cut this one. P varies directly as the square of X. So, ito, we have P but it's directly square of x, so that is x squared, and then put the variable k up. P, but it's directly as the square of x, and inversely as s, meaning that variable x, s, will be in the denominator. So that is, as simple as that, that is the conversion. So let's move on with number 3, and I will try to adjust the placement of our paper. Okay, what we have here is 
the electrical resistance R, we have R of a wire varies directly as its length L, this is letter L, and inversely, na, inversely as a square of its diameter D square, huh? So let's translate that. Let's start with letter R. So we have R is equal to varies directly as its length. That is KL, automatically KL. And inversely, so denominator, inversely is the square of diameter. So D squared. So that's it, guys. Translation for number 3 is R is equal to KL over D squared. So I hope na nakukuha niyo yung mismo concept natin on how to translate. Eh? So let's move on with the next part. In the next part, I will, give you, I will just give you one example of combined variation. And same sequence... We need to translate first. Translate. We need to find the constant of variation and solve for the main problem. Let us divide the parts. If x varies directly as y and inversely as z, oh, this is the first part. From here up to here, like that in the first part. And x is equal to 10 when y is equal to 4 and z is equal to 3. This is the second part. For what value of z will x is equal to 3 and y is equal to 4? I think the third part. Now, if this is your first part, it will serve as your uh, translation for the general formula. If, y, if x varies directly as y, so that is x is equal to ky and inversely as uh, let's say that this one so i think there's a correction here i think this one must be z okay if this is z let's have a correction eh? if this is z so i could erase this one if z varies directly as x and inversely as x if z varies directly as y and inversely as x. So we have z is equal to ky over x. So again, if z varies directly as y and inversely as x. So I'm going to translate that. So for k. So for k, x is equal to 10. y is equal to 4, and z is equal to 3. So what happened here is, trans, ano na natin, substitute lang natin, z is equal to 3, and then your k, then you have y is equal to 4, that is 4k over 10. Again, your z is equal to 3, your y is equal to 4, your x is equal to 10. So what we need to do, we can do cross multiplication, pero I suggest na multiply both sides na lang by 10. So we could cancel this out. Cancel this out. So what we have is 3 times 10, or 10 times 10, that is 30, is equal to 4k. So 4k, divide both sides by 4. Cancel, cancel, your k is equal to 30 over 4, and that is 15 over 2. If you're allowed by your teacher to convert this into decimal, pwede niyo naman gawing decimal siya. Okay, since we have now k is equal to 15 over 2, let's go back here and we will replace k by 15 over 2. Magingat na formula natin. We have z is equal to 15y over 2x. And siya, na-replace lang natin yung k natin into 15 over 2. Now, let's go with the third part. For what value of z, so ano yung value ng z? Question mark. Will x is equal to 3? And y is equal to 
4. So, ito, wala tayong papalit dito. Puntahan natin to. Z is equal to 15 times your y which is 4. So, times 4 over 2 times your x is equal to 3. So, dito may mga cancel out na tayo pero gawin natin siya ng step by step. Tayo natin ha. Z is equal to 15 times 4. That is 60 over 4 times uh, 2 times 3, that is 6. So as you can see, meron na tayong pwedeng masimplify. Your z now, if you're gonna divide these numbers, 60 divided by 6, that is equal to 10. And this is now the final answer. So I hope guys, na nakuha niyo yung, video, yung mismong concept about direct variation, uh, combined variation, as well as yung pag-translate and yung pag-resolve. Uh, pasansya na kung meron tayong cor correction sa ating printed material. So, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe but hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Chergon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!